Okay, this is my new computer. Just wanted to take some video of it to document it. Uh, the front panel opens up. Actually, that's kind of new. And there's like a panel here. And this is actually like a switch that controls whether these lights are on the uh, inside of the computer, trim, both, or neither. And the light themselves, you can turn this dial here. Like so. And the lights change color, which is pretty cool. I'm going to lower these lights for a second. And take off the door here. And you can see I like anything that's color changing. My only complaint is that there's no way to turn the knob automatically and have the colors always change. I would like to see that to just have a slow glow. It's uh, all done by a SATA power cable, so I doubt what I want is really possible. There's no way for software to go through the power supply through the SATA power cable like that. Uh, it also has another switch over here, which is the rear light. Actually lights. So like the plug and down here where you hook stuff up. So that's really helpful. You could basically work on it in the dark. It actually comes with a little, or my power supply comes with a little piece of metal that hooks into there that makes it so you can't unplug it, keep you from accidentally unplugging it ever. I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, there's a door on the opposite side. So it's like everything is on the back of the computer. All my wires are pulled through the panel onto the back of this. And so basically most of the mess is kept out of the main insides. All your extra cable gets run like my SATA cable came off the motherboard out through this hole and runs behind. A lot of the cables that came out of the power supply I have running through these little holes and then coming back through so they'll kind of like you know, kind of, kind of just come out here and then come back in here, basically just just to get all the excess not in the main area. The main area is actually pretty damn clean. Probably can't really see it in the video. That's probably one better for photographs. But there's really not a lot of wire in there. Um, a lot of the stuff that came off the power supply immediately goes out this hole in the back and it doesn't come back in to where it's needed. Similarly, a lot of things that need to come over here, these wires don't appear until one inch away from the port they go in. Most of the wires only appear one inch away from the port. I needed a power one here, so it just came through this hole. Um, all the excess stuff kind of just ends up going out through these various holes. I've never really seen a case like that with all these holes. There's even some here. I had my uh, PC speaker going through that for a little bit. Uh, this thing moves and I don't know why. Of course, three of the hard drive cages come right out. You simply put your hard drive in here. It has, instead of screws, it has these little magnetic metal pegs. You put it around your hard drive way easier than the metal docking stations you'd struggle with for 15 minutes back in the day. And it just slides in. So three of the hard drives you can change from this side. The other four you have to actually go to the other side to do. Fine with me. Um, and yes, that is a pretty big-ass CPU cooler fan I have. It pretty much rivals the case fan itself. 
Uh, there's one on top of, of it going up. Uh, on the bottom, where are they? There's actually two filters that slide in the bottom. All the air uptake comes up and the filters catch it. That's basically what's going to get all my cat hair. And even the door has a pretty big fan too. I mean, big ass fan. Um, lots of USB ports in the top. My motherboard has two more on back than usual, so I couldn't support these two. And then the, the sick irony was, back here with the extra ones, I actually had to get nail clippers and just like pry away the metal to expose these last two USB ports. So this, the, uh, that's not the case's fault, that's the, um, whoever gave me that piece of metal's fault. I thought it was the motherboard. Might have been the case, actually. I don't know. Um, I have a Wi-Fi card in here, but it's clogging up my Wi-Fi, and I can't view my IP camera now, so that's probably going to go away. But just look how tiny this little Wi-Fi card is. Like, I mean, compared to the, compared to the huge-ass video card that's like, that I could barely stretch my hand across, and which is takes two slots of the computer. This little PCI slot card, Wi-Fi card, uses just the tiniest bit of the slot. Most of the slot's empty. Probably the first time in my life that I've had something go through part of a slot, but not all of it. It's kind of weird. The uh, motherboard also has its own power and reset button, so I didn't have to bother hooking up all these stupid little power cables and, until I knew it worked. I mean, I had Windows installed before I hooked up the power button because it has its own power button. Very nice. <clears throat> And yeah, the type of stuff I have on my screen, just the letter N repeated because I was pasting in through thousands of props. Didn't want to start my command over. Uh, so yeah, um, I guess I could do a top view, but I can't even see if it looks worthy. It's pretty damn tall though. I had to actually get a hammer out and bust up my desk to make make it fit. I had to pull a skirt off of it. And uh, that's it, yeah. This is a halogen light. And I think it's doing weird things to the camera. That's pretty neat. <laughs>